evening everybody welcome to our crafting chair and it's the 9th of november and i've got the right date hello i'm debbie moore and i'm so excited about the show this is our new arrival show and i can see that there's already loads of you over on uh, facebook and on youtube now remember the show is brought to you once a month as in the new arrivals and what we've got on today's show are items that are brand new Plus, we've also got items that have been out of stock for some time and they're now back in stock for, because we've had so many requests. So I'm super excited about that. I've got some demonstrations. I've got some giveaways. I've got some exciting news. I've got, oh my goodness, loads and loads of fun. So let's see who have we got. I've got Pat saying hi. I've got Wendy from Las Vegas. Jules has joined us as well. Uh, I have got Sally, Pauline, Tina, Harry, Susan, Heather, Carmen from Sunny Malta. I have got Carol, Valerie, Belinda. I have got Kea um, from Southwest Georgia. Hugs and prayers for anybody who needs them. That's for sure. Have you ever had one of those days where we've had some bad news? Not awful news, but it's just a setback. A lot of people of you, well, a lot of you know that we are, Deb and I are in the process of buying a house, but we've had some news to say it's been delayed. So, you know, when you just think, oh. so that has brought me onto today's like and share. And today's like and share is to tell me what your favorite quote is. So because of that, um, with what happened today or the last few days, I should say, um, it reminded me of a quote, well, basically, there's a quote that my grandfather used to inspire me. Um, he always used to say to me, there's always tomorrow. Or, and then there's another quote that is, um, you always get a second chance, it's called tomorrow. So that is one of my favorite ones because it means that tomorrow I might get some better news uh, and we might get um, a moving date, which I can't wait. So what is your favorite quote? And also because I'm designing a new quote range, so I just thought, you know what? I'd like some more quotes from everybody. So I'm going to give away £50 worth of goodies and I'm super excited about that um, on some new products. Uh, so like and share this page. If you're over on YouTube, like, give me the thumbs up if you like my video and don't forget to press subscribe to get subscribed for when we're doing lives and videos. There's some new videos went on today, I think. And also on Facebook, please don't forget to like uh, and this page, okay, and share it and to tell me what your favorite quote is. So continuing, oh my goodness, there's loads more of you just joined. I've got Pauline um, saying hello. Good evening, Debbie and Deb, Worldly Crafters. Hope you're all doing well. I've got Mary, I've got Denise, I've got Betty. Maxine says, looking forward to tonight. Good evening all, curtains pulled, phoned off the hook. I do not want to be disturbed. Well, hopefully I can disturb you, Maxine, because I've got loads of news. Can you tell I'm a bit hyper tonight? I don't need much coffee, do I? Um, <laughs> I've got Caroline saying, hi, evening, Debbie and Dave. Que sera, sera. Yes, my grandfather used to say that as well. Um, and it's just, you know, when you just really, just really want something to happen, it seems to be taking ages and sometimes it makes you feel down. Well, I've decided that... I can get better news tomorrow or the day after. So that is what has made me <laughs> super excited that anything can happen. Uh, Wendy says, I strongly believe things will happen when they're supposed to happen. I know Wendy, but I don't have any patience. Do you guys have patience? I certainly don't. My mum used to say I'm like a bull in a china shop. I just rush into things and do things. But you know what? I'm not going to change now. Um, I have got Lily give me the thumbs up. Don't forget... Uh, to tell me whereabouts in the world you are. I've got Eva from Sweden. I've got Rosemary. I've got Cynthia, Susan, Caroline. I have got Edna. Uh, I love that, Edna. Good evening, Debbie Dib and Crafting Buddies. We are buddies. I love that. I mean, we've been doing these lives now. I think, was it just before lockdown? I can't remember. It's all a blur at the moment. But I really do enjoy the Thursdays and some of you have been with me right from the beginning and it's great how our crafting family have grown around the world. And uh, I think I've nearly done every Thursday, um, give or take a few, um, over the last few years, uh, three years I should say. Uh, so it's brilliant I can recognise some of your names. I've got Sharon saying hi, I've got Philippa, Wendy, Betty, Victoria, Janet, Margaret, um, I've got Lois, I've got Janet, 
I've got Marion saying hi, Vanessa from Texas. I've got Iris. I've got Chris saying, I lost my comment box there for a minute. Well, do you know what I sometimes accidentally do? I click on the overview <laughs> instead of the live chat. So make sure you click on the live chat. I've done that quite a few times. Uh, Lily says patience is a virtue. I know. I don't have any. I really don't ever give me a secret. Don't ever. I'm so bad at secrets, seriously. I, um, when Dave and I, you know, when Dave and I were going out and we got engaged, um, and that's a very long time ago, I went to the Lake District with him one weekend. I'm sure I've said this story before. And it must have been like two months before his birthday. And then I went into the shop and saw this gorgeous watch and bought it. And then when I met up with Dave again, he says, what have you been up to? And I'm like, I bought your present. I bought this. And I was like... I was meant to be a secret, so I'm so bad with secrets. Uh, I have got, where am I? I've got Jane, I've got Tina uh, saying good evening, Debbie Deb, and everybody from a stormy Malsbury in Wiltshire. Ooh, I haven't actually, uh, I don't know what the weather's like at the moment where I am in Bury St. Evans, but it has been a little bit raining, so I'll take care. I've got Jane saying hi. I have got Paula and Jeanette from dm delights marcia from sunny arizona marcia i'm a little bit jealous denise saying help everybody's well and thank you for the stars i really do appreciate them they help me do lives uh i've got pauline said her quote is if you first don't succeed try and try again yes and my grandfather used to say god loves a trier as well so uh and my mom used to say i'm always trying <laughs> I have got Carol joined us also on YouTube. I've got Chris says, oh dear, my favourite quote is bleep happens, but I don't think you can print that lol. <laughs> I said bleep, didn't I? Here's my cup of tea. Ooh. Cheers, everybody. I'm going to put that to one side. I have a new mug on tonight's show. Super excited about it. Um, which I'll share with you. I've got loads of exciting new stuff. Um, Janet has joined us from North Carolina saying hi, Debbie and Dave and the crafting family. And I've got Susan uh, says her favorite quote is never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. That is so true. This is why I've run out of time. <laughs> I've got Julie joined us, Judith, Sam asking what the like and share is. Quotes. Okay, what is your favourite quote or what quote do we like? And it's for two reasons. One, I was just saying that Dave and I had some unwelcome news, not sad news. Basically, as you know, that we have been in the process of buying a house, but we got some news to say that he's been delayed. And it's so frustrating because we're all living in boxes at the moment. So, but it reminded me of a quote my grandfather used to say, you know, um, there is always tomorrow don't think about it like that and also it reminds me that you always get a second chance it is called tomorrow so i love those quotes so that inspired me to do the quote or the like and share for today uh because i am actually also designing a new live quote range so i'm after some new quotes there you go everybody so how about helping me with some new toppers and that i'm going to pick some that you guys share uh right where was i i have got Wendy just joined us. I've got Mirella has says, always look on the bright side of life. Life. Favourite quote. That is, yeah, that is lovely. Um, and Eva said, better late than never. So true. I've got Violet joined us. Um, I have got Colleen as well. Beverly, Margaret. And Tina says, I'm hyper every week. Do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you hear what he said, everybody? He went, when I say he, my husband, Dave, is in the corner sorting out the graphics and everything. He went, uh-huh. <laughs> so, Tina, he agreed with you. Um, I've got John saying hi also. I have uh, Karen says, quote is be kind. Yes, definitely. Um, yes. And my mum always used to love um, that quote that was in... Oh, Cinderella, is it? Be kind and have courage or have courage and be kind. Isn't that a beautiful quote? Um, I have got, Valerie says, is your supper cooking in a slow cooker? No. Not today. I kind of have, I have a crazy day. Well, I have a crazy week anyway, but on Saturday, 
I'm actually now going to be on Sewing Street at 10 o'clock with some previous of my fabric panels and I'm going to be on not sewing straight hobby maker tv at three o'clock and six o'clock so it's been a little bit of a crazy time at the moment uh and I've been super designing I've been so excited designing some of the new collections coming out and one of them which I can, I'm going to try my hardest to try and keep it until I get the samples in one of them is super 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 exciting that's all I can say We'll see how long I last. And it, and it's pink, but it can come in different colours as well. That's all I'm saying to that. Right, okay. Uh, Pauline's put what will be will be, definitely. Uh, I've got Lucille from Paris joined, joined us. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Hopefully I've said that right. Uh, I've got Gaynor. I've got Sarah. Oh, Sarah's put, hi Debbie and Deb. I've got my husband cooking dinner, so I might have to go. <laughs> Yeah, my husband's not cooking dinner. He's over in the corner just sorting out all the graphics. I've got Deborah joined us. Hi, everybody. Not joined you for a while. So looking forward to tonight. Well, you picked a really good one because tonight's show is all about new arrivals. Uh, so I've got some fun demos that I also want to share. I've got Angela saying, hello, everybody. Hope you're well. Watching you while in bed. Had a lumbar punctured today. Oh my goodness, Angela. Mm. Sending kisses and hugs and prayers to you and anybody else that needs it. And hopefully I can make you smile a little bit. That sounds so painful. Uh, I hope you get well very, very quickly. Uh, where am I? Um, have I said hello to everybody? Oh, I've got Stephen. I've got Helen. I've also got Wendy, Julie. Uh, and I have got Carolyn, Tracy. I have got Jan joined us from Spain. Now, let me see if I get this right. Hola, como estas? <laughs> so, I've done France. I've done Spain. Obviously, I've done English <laughs> as universal language. Yes, I am a bit hyper tonight, everybody. Um, please, if Rolf joined us from Germany, I'm going to have to think about that. It's been a while since I've said hello in German. Uh, where am I? Uh, oh, Marion says, smile and the world smiles with you cry and you cry alone. No, no. Smile and the world smiles with you. Cry and you cry alone. Ah, right, okay. I've got Elizabeth saying hi. Uh, and Denise says, I like that one. Don't worry, things will look better in the morning. Yes, my grandmother used to say that. And don't, no use crying over spilt milk. Do you know what? I never used to get that saying. I used to, my grandmother used to say that quite a lot. And I was like, what spilt milk? Where is the spilt milk? I never really got it. I have got, um, okay, I've got more people join us. I'm trying to catch up with them. The, the messages are going a bit crazy. So if I miss saying hello, say hello again. Barbie, hi. I have got, uh, oh, Pauline says, going to the Lake District tomorrow till Sunday. A birthday treat for my husband for my birthday on Saturday. I'm so spot. Yes, you are. Happy birthday for then and have a lovely time. Uh, I've got Anna saying hi. Uh, she says, I'm loving this three days with Debbie and product. So much inspiration. Ah, that's because I did a Tuesday coffee morning, crafting coffee morning, which was super fun. You can still watch that show. And Bella did a show last night. And also I'm on today. But then if you're watching Hobby Maker, Anna, or Sewing Straight, you could end up having five shows. <laughs> That'd be a bit mad. Uh, where am I? I have also got Chris. I've got Judith. Uh, Judith put, we had snow today. Really? Judith, whereabouts are you in the world? And it's Judith Larrabee. Uh, my goodness me. I have got uh, Christine saying hi. Jacqueline, Sylvia, um, I've got Sandra joined us as well, uh, and I think that's everybody. If I miss saying hello, say hello again. Anyway, tonight's show is super, super exciting. It is our new arrival show. I'm a little bit hyper because I want a couple of, well, I'm actually going to get a bit of everything because it's that's the beauty. Not only do I get to design, I get to play with craft products, and I get to share loads of inspiration for all you wonderful people. I mean, basically the best job ever haven't I uh, it has taken some time getting here and um, tonight's show has I've got glitter I have got new products I have also got art deco I love art deco and I've got back in stocks because we had some amazing sellouts um, 
So when it comes to tonight's show, I'm just going to go through it briefly. I say this every week. You don't have to buy unless you want to on some of the products. Enjoy the crafting community. I can see there's loads of us on tonight. So thank you ever so much for that. And if you're watching on catch up, you can still participate because obviously what we're doing is we are uh, going to pick somebody for the like and share for this evening. So don't forget to keep sharing this page and liking it over on YouTube. Please put, if you like me, press the little like button or the thing, what is it? Thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, and then I have got um, over on Facebook, I have got loads of you liking the page. Don't, that's brilliant. Don't forget to share it and we can get our crafting community going. Sorry, I got distracted by a lovely message from Jan. Jan has said, hi, uh, Debbie. Just want to say that I watched your show on Tuesday and bought the pop-up templates and taste a pop-up download I made my first ever pop-up card and I can't believe how easy it was so thank you see there you go you know creating uh, having a go once you know what you're doing and have the right products to do the job I mean pop-ups I love them why why people miss the inside of the cards you know you need to have that wow factor and we've got a lot of wow factors going on right i'm going off on a tangent um so we're going to get started oh edna thank you for sending me some stars i really do appreciate it uh oh and her quote is what's meant for you won't pass you by oh that's lovely and wendy said bella's show last night was really great was using the pop-up stencil yes that's so true so if you missed the show you can always watch it and don't forget if you ever can't find it over on youtube or on facebook we always do put by the end of the week all the shows on our inspiration hub so if you go into our website on debbiemoredesigns.com along the top there's a little button called inspiration hub and you can see one that says uh live show so you can click on them and see all the different ones and we're trying to get a little bit organized we'll get there one day uh julie hi thank you for joining us and mary and michelle uh and uh, oh sharon i love your saying kindness is a gift everybody can afford isn't that lovely it is so true. Um, and Elizabeth says, I love quotes, but the one I'm going to choose is nothing is impossible. The world itself says I'm possible. Oh, Elizabeth, I have heard that before, but not for a while. I love, love, love that. I definitely need to put that on a topper and give it to everybody. That is amazing. Uh, and I've got Kath joined us from a very cold island. Thank you for joining us. And Jill says, hi. And I love my poppy bracelet. Well, it's Remembrance Day. I'm wearing a poppy top. So I've got, what, three poppies on there. And then this is the poppy that I made with my Namlin Magic last Tuesday. Not this Tuesday. So if you missed that show, you can go and watch it. It's using the enamelin so you can create your own, basically, your own flowers. You can enamel anything. And that's what I did. So thank you for that, Diane. Um, you know, my grandfather used to go on about the importance of remem remembering the people, you know, for not just the Second World War, any of the war, you know, it's important to remember them. And I think um, for my, my grandfather was in World War II and he was one of the blessed ones who came back. And he always said to me, it's so important. So um, this not only is remembrance for anybody that obviously going through hardships with wars, but it's also for the people that made it safe for me to be today so that is why i am wearing it and thank you pauline's loving the uh poppy bracelet as well okay i'm gonna get sorted out um i've got aileen hopefully i've said that right uh has just joined us uh <laughs> she's what my favorite cause friends are the family we choose <gasps> that's brilliant so i choose you guys um, since I'm running out of family, I'm going to choose all you wonderful crafters out there. Oh, Anna says, I got my elegant box tonight and wow, what lovely items in there. So you must have got the last mystery box, Anna, which was the, I'm trying to remember which one it was, Victorian, I think it was. Yes, the Victorian box. Well, if you like those items, there is another mystery box on tonight's show and they're even better. 
Uh, I've got also Nicola saying hi. She says, I've had to put our new motorhome in safe storage. I can craft on the go now. What? Hello, she says, sorry I'm late. I had to put our new motorhome in safe storage. I can now craft on the go now. Oh, my goodness. Um, well, I think my, sister, my sister's got a, uh, um, what's it called? Not a camper van. What's it called, Dev? I think it's a, a Winnebago. A Winnebago, which always makes... A bagel. No, I keep thinking it's a bagel. <laughs> Did I make you smile? Right, we're moving on before I go off on a tangent, okay? Uh, Rosemary, hi, and Deborah, thank you uh, for joining us. And I have got Trinkle's Garden Home and Life, which is Irene from Georgia joined us. And Susan says, a smile costs nothing but brightens your day. That's so true. Do you know what I mean? And I think if you smile at people, they'll smile back. Apparently, when I, well, according to my friends, when I go to London, especially when I'm on the subway, I'm so bad because apparently you're not supposed to smile <laughs> when you're on the subway. You're supposed to put your head down and I'm like this. Smile at everybody. Yes, everybody probably thinks I'm nuts, but I am a little bit. Uh, okay, we're going to get started before I go off on more tangents. Um, so tonight's show, as I was saying, it is an interactive show. If you've never attended one of these before, welcome to my crazy crafting family. This is a live show for you guys out there. Uh, we're going to talk about anything crafty. So if you have any questions or queries, just please put them in the feed. And uh, the team, if I don't get to them, the team will get onto them. Jessica and Zoe will get them sorted straight away. Um, and also, well, well, remind me, all the orders are up to date except for the few last few days. Um, and up to four o'clock, five o'clock, something like that. Facebook messages were up to date and we were just a few days behind with emails. So if anybody has an urgent query, you can contact the office. Now, how this system works is we're going to go through some products. If you want to buy them, all you need to do, because there will be a code on them, for example, let me, shall we put the new mug one on? Yes. For example, really excited. We have a new mug, which is FB2784. Look at this. I want one. I'm going to put my order in for it. Okay. So this is my new Christmas Art Deco mug for um, 2023. And look, isn't she beautiful? So if you want to buy this mug, okay, it is, the code is, where is it? FB2784. Eight, four. You'll see a banner that will pop up on the side there. It will give you the normal price so you can see it's $8.99 and the offer price is $5.99. And if you want one, it is limited. First come, first serve for these, okay? Um, for our Christmas mug, you can just put that and that will be allocated to you. Now, as I go through all the products, this is how the system works. Then at the end of the show, um, well, what this show will actually be processed, we'll start the process in tomorrow and obviously on Monday. So when the show is closed, all the comments will be clo uh, closed down and then we'll invoice you via an email. So you will have a payment link on the email and it's so straightforward, everybody, because what will happen is it'll list the products that you are wanting. I can see people already ordering the mug there. Um, it will list the products. You can add to it. You can delete to it. You can click on it and pay by debit card, credit card and PayPal. And the other thing that you can do is you can even pay over the phone. You can contact the office on 07553 457 168 and Jessica and Zoe are there to help with any queries you may have. Now you can also email us at info at Debbie Moore Designs or private messages at Debbie Moore Designs. And also if anybody's putting any messages on YouTube, we also pick them up and also Jessica is on hand for any queries that way. So hopefully whichever way uh, you actually send messages, we'll pick them up very easily. Our website is DebbieMoreDesigns.com and our email ethos is all about sharing inspiration and bringing ideas to you guys out there. Uh, we love crafting with you and for you and tonight's show is all about new arrivals. So we're going to get started. I can see that I have got Dawn's just joined me saying sorry I'm late. Family crisis going on. Oh well Dawn I hope everything's okay but thank you for joining me. Uh, and I can see um, 
loads more people join me i've got upcycle wonders join me carol join me susan from spain saying hi debbie and team from a cold spain uh hola susan como estas uh and i am going to have a mouthful of this before it goes cold i was going to have the new mug but then I thought, how can I show it without having to drink the whole of my tea? Right, okay. We will get started because I've got loads of demonstrations. First of all, drum roll, please. I need a drum roll. Okay, because it's been some time since we've been able to get these back into stock. Well, actually, some of them are not back into stock, but the range, glitter. So we have got our first code, FB. 2782 and what we have is we have two collections of glitters and hopefully it can pick them up so look at the price you are going to get four pots for 496 so if we can put the top camera on let me have a look so we have got i don't know if you can see this this is oh, it doesn't look very good well, no, it looks good, but it look it is better in real life, everybody. Uh, we have got our silver blush, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then we've got our gold blush. Have I picked up the wrong one? The gold blush. Then we've got my chameleon. Love chameleon. Chameleon is iridescent. It changes colour and everything. Look. You see that? And then I've got a solid white. Okay, so these are, you can see a solid white, which is great for winter and for snow. So you'll get a solid white. So that is set one. And 496, ultra, ultra fine glitter. Can I just show how fine? I even put them on my nails. Obviously not tonight, I haven't. Then the second set of glitters. Okay, I couldn't decide which is my favourite. So I'm, I've got both because this one has, okay, oh, wait a minute. I've just realized this is what the confusion lies. That is silver and gold, everybody. I'm so sorry. I knew that looked a bit odd. This one has got the extra sparkles. That's how I remember. So these have got the two solids, gold and silver, and then you've got the chameleon, and the solid white then this one are the super new ones so you've got the silver blush okay then you've got the gold blush here we go oh who's lost me on facebook hopefully i'm still but there i've got alan alan hello alan i haven't seen you on for a while i've got alice as well joined us and i've got anita hello uh, Rosemary say, ah, oh, Wi-Fi keeps breaking up. I will have to catch up later. Oh, never mind. Hopefully you can get sorted. Uh, Anita, don't worry. We've just started. You haven't missed anything. This is set two of the brand new. Well, some of them are brand new and some of them you might have seen before of our new um, fibrous glitter. So you have got silver blush, gold blush. Absolutely love these two. I don't know if you can see it. Loads of different colours. Then you have, just need to show you these. You have got champagne. I can't, honestly, I wish I had one of those cameras that we used to have in the TV studios. Hint, hint, Div. And then this one is gorgeous. Can you see? Oh, it doesn't even show it. Hopefully, I don't know if it shows it really well. This is Kaleidoscope. I can see about eight different colours. It's brilliant. Uh, Valu says, okay in Devon. Facebook is okay in Devon. I've got Tracy just joined us. Hi, Tracy. Um, oh, my goodness. Tracy says, hi, Debbie Devon Crafters. Sorry, late. Problems with the washer keeps knocking the internet off. What? Uh, what have I missed? Had a phone call. Julie, you haven't missed anyone. Uh, anything even. I have just said we have got our glitters back. You get four. Set one is the silver, the gold, the solid white and my chameleon. So that's FB2783. Gorgeous set. You will use that all the time. 8182 even. Sorry. <laughs> Give you the right code. And then we've got this one. 
this one is the extra sparkles one because we've got the silver blush gold blush you've got the champagne and you've got the kaleidoscope you're going to love this one it's got loads and loads and loads of colors tracy the like and share is to give me a quote what is your favorite quote uh the chameleon on its own colleen i think it's on the website and i'm trying to think of what it is these are normally 199 i think the chameleon is 249 uh, right, so let me just put these tops back on, otherwise, you know I'm going to knock it off. But these are great, okay? Having the right glitters. So these are the glitters that we have. So remember, set two has champagne, it has kaleidoscope, it has silver blush, and it also has our lovely gold blush. So that is set two. I can see Estelle's just joined us and Tara, hello there. And, oh, Alan's gone over to YouTube because he's lost us on Facebook. Well, I'm glad you've joined us over on YouTube. And then I'm just going to put that on. What's the difference in the blush? What is the difference between the blush? Okay, let me show you. So this is a standard gold. I'm hoping you can see. And this is, oh no, that's a champagne. Get the right colour. This one here. Right. It's like a bit lighter. Oops. Can you see the difference? Uh, it's more twinkly. This is more twinkly. Um, but this is more of a flat, solid colour. Hopefully, Estelle, that makes sense. Okay. So the blushes are more twinkly. <laughs> That's the only way to describe it. So set two has the chameleon that everybody loves. Sorry, set one, I do apologise. Set one has the chameleon that everybody loves. And that's the one that I use quite a lot. It goes on everything. Okay, it's the one that's iridescent. It picks all the colours up. Then we have, have a solid white in there, which is great for winter. And it's great for snow, but also for January as well. So I tend to use it for both occasions. And then you have a solid silver and a solid gold. Uh, Morwin's just joined us and so um, Liz has joined as well. Oh, and Dawn's put the blush is more muted. Yes, that's about, but it's a bit more sparkly. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, please, if you're over on YouTube, please don't forget to send me the thumbs up if you like what we're doing, just so we can evaluate whether we should be doing more YouTube as well as Facebook. And it's very important. I really do appreciate it. Oh, and Mary's put the link on um, for Colleen if you're wanting to know more about the uh, glitter. And I can see where am I? I've got Christine also just joined us as well. Oh, so I was right. It was £2.49. Okay, so this is the... We've just started, everybody. Uh, that's just joined us. FB2782 Glitter Set. You're going to get four for that fabulous price of 4 96 And then we have got our glitters. Whoops, I'm throwing them out of the way. Okay, and this is more... So this has got more solid colours, except you've got the iridescent chameleon in there. Okay, and this one has the blushes the kaleidoscope and the champagne on. Okay, we need another drum roll because this is our next item and it is a limited item, everybody. The reason why it's a limited item, this is our Christmas mug for 2023. Have a fabulous Christmas. I'll look at the price that we're doing and honestly, I do hope this comes out really bright. You can see the, how gorgeous this is. Um, Denise has put Debbie can I just mention Jessica in the office as she's been very helpful in sorting out my double ordering so polite and helpful oh thank you Denise and thank you for sending me some more stars you're so welcome okay we do try to help with everything uh, and Christine's put my table looked like Tinkerbell flew over me yesterday love your glitter oh and Julie's just joined us hi Julie uh, and Julie uh, said, sprinkle a bit of happiness like a, fa like a fairy. That's nice. And pa I love that one as well. Uh, smile and the world smiles with you. They're all really good quotes. So, 
If you want to, oh, Jill says she's having problems with Facebook. So she's gone over to YouTube. Well, that's good. That is really good. So this is gorgeous. Look at the detail. I like that even her makeup has come out. Can you see that, everybody? If I do that, look at the detail that you're going to get. So this could be a Christmas, well, I nearly dropped it there, the Christmas present or an early Christmas present for yourself. It can be your Christmas art deco mug. Okay. Now, it is limited stock because we only get so much of these done. So first come first serve. And I thought, why not? It's a, a new collection of mugs out. Let's have it at a brilliant price. $5.99 for an Art Deco mug is a must. Okay, so if you want one, pop it in. Um, Colin says, Debbie, can you explain the difference between blizzard and snow? Yes. Now, blizzard is chunkier than snow. Okay, so I'm going to see if I've got example. I will say, though, there's not much stock of Blizzard. So let me see if I can show you the difference. So just, can you see the difference? The chunky one is Blizzard and the snow, the thinner one is snow. Colleen, hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to put that to one side because I will have it of knocking it over. Um, okay, I've got Fiona saying hi. Uh, and Beverly says, I'm glittering my Christmas cards as I watch. Yes, we all need glitter. I do like. Like and share, Liz, is to tell me what your favourite quote is. Mine is, there's always a second chance. It's called tomorrow. Love that. So if you're having a bad day, because I've had, Devon and I had some really, not bad news, but frustrating news. Our house, we're buying a house and it isn't, it's going to be delayed. So, um... That's what reminded me of a quote. My grandfather always used to say, there's always tomorrow. So um, that is what the like and share is. Tell me what your favourite quote is. And it's to help me with a new range of life quotes. I'm going to make some more toppers. Okay, I have got um, this FB2784 is the brand new mug. Isn't that fabulous? Now, talking a brand new. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to put my order in before it sells out because I can see people are going for it. Uh, Colleen, you can order them on here, but you need to tell me which ones you want with regard to the glitters. Um, there is nine different glitters, um, but we. Uh, the, I think you'd have to, on the website, you need to check if you want them individually or you can go for the sets. Uh, Mary says, can you add what I bought by tonight onto other things I bought the other night? Yes, Mary. If you ordered on Bella's show, that will be added. But if you have an outstanding quote, of course, we can merge them. No problem. OK, right. OK, I'm going to move on because something totally new that I've got is a brand new fabric. I don't know how I'm going to do this because it's so big. Well, it's not brand new. The fabric is new. So this <laughs> FB2785 is huge. It's to create your own either Christmas sack or Christmas um, basically bag. Okay. But can you see that it's made out of a different, I don't know if you can, like a twill fabric. So it's like a thick, stronger fabric. So it's a different fabric. Okay, so we have got, so the, the colours are vibrant, okay, but because of the actual type of fabric, it may look um, a bit discoloured in places, but that is normal because of the design that we've actually done. So you can see you've got like a vintage feel on there. Um, I might have to ask Div to help me with this. Um, we have got, it gives you, so you can, you get front and a back, right, let me just do it this way. See, I need a bigger studio. And when we move, we're going to be getting a bigger studio. Um, you've got the front of the bag and you've got the back of the bag. OK, then you've got the handles. It comes with step by step instructions, obviously not that tape. Um, and then you have even got some pockets and some spare fabrics that you can actually do. And then we're going to hang it up. I'm mean, not hang it up, hold it up so you can see. So you get extra elements that you can create some little cute straw draw bin bags. So this is FB2784. And Dave is going to help me because it's so big. Right, you ready? 
Can you see how big it is? Right, if we come this way, Dev. There we go, everybody. It's huge. So, if, look at the price. Um, that actually is the wrong price. Just bear with me. Yes, it should be fourteen ninety nine. Okay, so if you want one, it is, sorry about that price, it should be fourteen ninety nine. it should be £5 off it. Um, and if you have any questions on that, let me know. I've got Helen joining us, or she says, hi Debbie, hope you're well. My favourite quote is, if not now, when? That's good. But I keep thinking of your request for new range suggestions. A few weeks ago, my suggestion was a nutcracker uh, Christmas ornament range. Because it's out of copyright, could you do a Christmas Carol Scrooge range? I actually have that idea for next year. It's a bit late now, but it is on my list, everybody. So going back to that fabric, it is, um, where was I? FB2785, and that is £14.99. Um, Tracy says Dave is really useful. Yes, it comes in handy. And you can make a quilt with them. Yes, Mary, you could. And Lois says, how easy is this to make? I'm a novice with sewing. Well, Lois, I have to tell you the truth. I only started sewing three months ago. And I've sewn for probably a couple of hours. And I've made a cushion, a few cushions. And I have made a few bags. Um, I haven't made a quilt. Bella made me a quilt, um, and but um, it's all about time, really. And I'm just learning how to use a sewing machine. I had a friend give me a sewing machine. It must have been about four or five years ago, and I only took it out of the box three months ago. <laughs> so, Lois, if I can do it, you can do it, as long as you have... I mean, you could hand-stitch that as well. It comes with instructions. Bella is actually going to be doing a video on them all, um when we get round to it hopefully in the next few weeks we're going to do that and we've got a stocking that's on the website as well uh, Sandra says sound back just as I decide to go onto your website well I don't know what that means does that mean you lost me well hopefully uh, you can hear me okay uh, but if you have any questions please let me know right uh, and Pauline's put as with any new craft Practice, practice, practice. Yes, I am. I'm learning to practice. I've learned how to upholster and what I'm just doing it in stages. And once I've done that, I'll put pictures on so you can all see what I've done. Um, and, but the sewing, I'm super excited about it because obviously I'm designing fabrics now and um, it's opened the world of possibilities. I just, I'm very impatient. I keep pressing on the sewing machine, you know, the, I don't even know what it's called. It's called the foot or whatever. Sarah Payne will be so disappointed with me that I don't know every part of the machine, but the, can you see I'm pressing it with my foot? I keep pressing it too hard and it keeps going really too fast. So I need to be slowed down and be patient. I have to do what Dave does. When I talk really hyper, he does this and he does this, which means slow down. I need to do that with my sewing. Uh, okay, yes, I would recommend you have a go, Lois, because it's so much fun. Right, where was I? Oh, really brilliant. The next item that I have, we sold out of this last month. It went crazy. And I do, I've had loads of messages from a lot of you to say that you've had a go and loved it. So this next item that I have is FB2786. It's an advent card making kit and die set. And we have a photo because it's so big. Let me see if we can actually put this up because it's massive. FB2786. Uh, and this is our advent. Look at that. Oh, that way. Can you see what you're getting, everybody? You get all that and a forever code for $22.99 to create advent cards. Now, when I did it on TV, um, I think it was last month, uh, beginning of last month, we sold out because the way it's been designed, you can also create your own. You can do like for anniversary, you can put little pictures behind it. We can go through it. I can see messages coming through about it. It is a kit that I've been meaning to design for about three years. But every time I get round to doing it, 
uh, it's too late for Christmas. So this time we did design it a few months ago and brought it out. Uh, and it has, we've got some more stock in. It's just come in. And uh, if you missed out, don't miss out on this. I'll, I'll explain what you're going to get into it. Okay. Uh, Sandra says, just shut your website down and sound vanish. Really not sure what's going on. Watching you on Facebook and sound from your website. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Um, unless you are watching in the hub, because Dave has added it already, is that right? Oh, well, it's in the upcoming, so oh, it's playing from there. It might be playing from the upcoming in the Inspiration Hub, Sandra. So, okay, uh, Anna says this set is amazing. Let me show you what you're going to get. So this, it is super amazing. And I'm going to do a demo with it in a second, everybody. Look, so you get the die, really good size die. Um... And then what I've got on here, these are the cards that we've made. So you can see, I've lost the other card. Where did it go? Obviously an Art Deco card. And behind the windows, you've got beautiful different ones on there. So you get everything to create cards with it. You get, let me just lay them all out. You're going to be able to make a minimum of 20 cards with the kit. But of course you get a forever code, which means that you can get, or should say, you can actually print them off again and create as many as you want. So you've also got your numbers, you get your surprise images, all in different themes, okay? You get your guides. So this is quite good. Also, if you want fun for the whole family, you can put pictures, messages behind it as well. But then you also get your toppers. So I'm making sure that I picked up the right thing. <laughs> So you are going to get beautiful toppers. So all this, you have 20 in total. So you get 20 toppers, 20 surprises. You've got 20 uh, of the actual numbers, 20 guides, and you get the uh, die itself. Plus you get step-by-step -step instructions showing you how to create the actual advent calendar card. Um, and then as I go through it, you can see that you're going to get two of each of those. FB2786, it is so much fun. Uh, so easy to be able to create. And I'm going to be showing you how basically it comes together very easily. So we will do a quick one. Of, and especially if you're doing selling cards for charity. And because this is in stock now, you can order it, okay, it can get shipped out at the beginning of next week and you can also be making cards for charity or for yourself. Um, I've got some more toppers missed up, where we go, make sure. I've also got Art Deco in there, everybody, you know I'm going to put Art Deco in there. So you've got the Art Deco in there as well. So these are your physical toppers, you've got the penguins, we've got the penguins on in there, the different penguins, and we've got the Santa Claus ones as well. So the idea behind it is you're going to be able to create 20 um, different sets, or with different themes I should say, I think there's five scenes. Uh, Lois says, looking at this set, I see a shaker advent. Well, that is something different, Lois. Uh, Maxi says, back on Facebook now, internet playing up. Well, I hope that you guys are all okay. FB2786, I would get it because I think it will sell out again and I won't be getting any more in this year. So once this latest stock is sold out, it is gone, everybody. And I want to show you how easy it is. Now, remember I said that you can actually create different ones. You can see that I've only just started doing the numbering on here. Uh, so I'm going to now start off with showing you, I'm going to demonstrate this fabulous set. So let me just move everything out the way so I can do this lovely demo. Okay, everybody. Oh, Edna says I've got mine, it's fab. Uh, and then what I've got in here, I'll go through the messages. Let me just sort this demo out, everybody. And then if anybody has any questions or queries, I will try to pick them off. So we're going to start showing you how to use the advent calendar. Okay, when it comes to using my advent die, the idea behind it is to create your own advent cards. You can make them any size you want. If you buy the kit, the kit comes with toppers, 
that will enable you to die cut them. So I'm going to show you how easy that is. But the other thing to remember, because it's a standalone die, the die is available as in kit form and on its own. Because it's a standalone die, it doesn't have an edging, which means you can create to any size you want. And what I'm saying with that is it won't cut out the square, so you need to make sure two things. If you're wanting to do a larger card, you can put that on there like so and it will just cut it out the, the the doors on here however this is one of the toppers if you buy the die on its own it comes with uh, a download option so you get the images so you can actually download or you can buy the kit already done and all I'm doing is making sure that I have it the right way so the doors need to open so this one is at the top and it tells you because it comes with instructions so you need to have that one on the top and all I'm doing everybody is putting it where I want it to go so I'm just going to put it a bit higher up so then I can put a Merry Christmas at the bottom because everything comes in the kit so I want to make sure that if I'm going for just a square one I've got room for my Merry Christmas and then I'm just using some tape like so line that up straight make sure it's straight in the middle and then I'm going to put it through a die cutting machine. The nativity scene is included. You've got Art Deco. You've also got gnomes in there. You've got Santa Claus. So I'm just using my gorgeous um, scene from, this is from uh, The Wonder of Christmas. So I'm running it through just on the side of the table there very quickly through so you'll be able to see I turn it over the windows so already look how quickly that's done if I then pull that off very quickly so there are my doors open and they're still flat so you would leave them like that and the next process would be two things you can create your own surprises or in the kits themselves you have different what we call surprises so this one's from the wonder of christmas you can see that this one is from that gorgeous gnomes in there you've got different themes you've even got the nativity as well so you've got the nativity themes in there for you to use so we were using the nativity so you've got um religious sayings in there as well as imagery and then you've got penguins and art deco so you've got surprises for everything we're going to use this one so i don't need to cut these out because this is only if you want to personalize it and put photos behind it that'd be a really good idea and then what i'm going to do is put that behind there okay obviously i need to put it onto a card and I will get my card but to start off with I am just going to use some glue you can use any glue remember um, if you're using double-sided tape be careful to make sure you don't stick it on the squares and I'm just putting the glue in the corners to start off with like so I'm putting every section around the edges because you, you can, if you want to, put glue in every of the edges. You have got gaps here because these do not open. But you don't need to necessarily put it in between. I just put it around the edges. It will line up perfectly like so. And then this is going to go, you can do any size to be fair. Um, you can even do a... You can even do a easel card, but they're being designed, so you can do the square ones as well. And then, as you can see, all that's left to do is choose your numbers. Now, I did say that you will get a enough numbers for all, if you're going for the pack. So you just need to choose which ones you want. So if I want the red ones, and simply cut out your numbers like so. So I'm just cutting them out of the kit. And it's such an easy way of designing your advent calendars uh, cards because you can put a message in, you can personalise it. And all I'm doing is cutting out the numbers themselves. 
like so let's cut along that and just to show you how my top tip when it comes to sticking these so you can uh, if you've got a stamp with numbers you can put that but because it comes with the um, kit itself I find it much easier two ways of doing it if you have tweezers use tweezers um, and I'm going to use these ones here we have some medium tweezers and all I'm doing is putting the glue on the window so I'm going to have this one here like so and then hold it and line it up and that's how easy it is and the other thing to remember is you can just stick this onto card and I had the finished card a minute ago there we go so you can stick it onto card like so and keep adding it you can add your Merry Christmas to the bottom if you want to and then here's one that we've just added and you can see how it's done and that's how easy it is to do the advent calendar cards now because you get it as a whole have you thought about doing anniversary cards? I mean, yes, you can cut them down. So you can start with four or five. But as you're looking for ideas for anniversary, not only can you use your advent calendar die for Christmas, you can also use it for throughout the year. So have a go and really be surprised how easy it is to create your very own advent cards. You can even use your own family picture. How cool is that? So everybody, we'll put that code up uh, so you know if you've not if you've missed that before. It is back in stock, and honestly, it is something that I really would recommend you having a go at. FB two seven eight six. We'll put that picture up again of what you're going to get. I need to find the top of the glue because I've lost it. Oh, there it is. FB two seven eight six. Look what you're going to get. All that enough to do a minimum of twenty. Uh, calendar cards right I've missed loads of messages so let me have a look at what people are saying um, I have got oh Pauline says love this advent set I created eight of them this past week at a crop retreat it was so fun to do brilliant oh Hilary hello you're not late okay you can watch anytime and Pauline has said um, put the word top at the top of the die good thing um, and Helen's put, I bought the Advent die set, brilliant, so versatile, it was good to know that I had it for every year now. Yes, you can do it all the time. It is a fabulous set, everybody, um, but I will say, once the stock has run out, it won't be coming back in this year, okay? So, enjoy it. Right, so we're going to move on. I'm going to tidy all this because it's a little bit of a mess. Whatever, oops. Sorry, everybody, I've just dropped a plate. Luckily, it didn't hit anything major. Talking of plates, I have... <laughs> oh, apparently I dropped it on the camera wire. I have, everybody, a brand new... Um, I should say, this is. I think this is back in stock. This one's not brand new. This one's back in stock. This is a woodland set, and it's brilliant. So you get the die... And then you get, everybody, I'll show you the cards in a second, you get your match it sheets. So this is FB2787. So this creates, look how adorable these are. $12.99, everybody. How cute are they? So you get the tree. So you get the die. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dies. Ten dies. You've got the match it sheets. And you've got them in a couple, quite a few colourways. But then I've given you some scenes as well. It comes with a forever code. And as I can see, you've got uh, some backdrops as well. Sandra says, have sound back. Silly me. Had somehow turned sound off on Facebook tab. How daft can you get? Sandra, that's something that I would do. You're not daft at all. Um, Lois says she's been playing with these today and is amazing. Yes, because, where's my samples gone? And we will be bringing in some more finished samples. This is showing you that you can die cut it and colour it. You don't have to use the match it. So this is using without the match it. Okay. However, using it with the match it looks brilliant. 
you can mix and match so you can see that you have got on there look how gorgeous and adorable they are you can create some beautiful scenes uh will this go through my big shot now are you on about these or were you on about the advent die um deborah let me know which one you on and the big shot what is the size of your plates for your big shot because if it's a five this should because look it is smaller than a five so if a big shot is an a5 sheet of card then the answer is yes but this one will go through look how tiny those are they are fabulous so i'm not too sure which what message you're on about um is the advent die being retired or just a set um no the advent die it's basically i won't be able to get any more stock in before christmas pauline i'm not retiring it and i will tell you that there is some extras coming out next week and i'll be telling you about it so we're not retiring the die um but the collection itself i won't be able to once the die that i've got the stock in i think will sell out okay because it will be going back on tv in a couple of weeks i think um and then obviously it's december so it will be too late to get the dies back in stock but I will be bringing out new collections and designs to work with it every year. So don't you worry about that. Uh, Pauline said, yes, it will go through Big Shot at six inch wide. There you go, Deborah. There you go. Thank you, Pauline, for answering that. Chris says, is this different to the Woodland Deer Match It set? I don't know. OK, so you need to check. This tells you. It's 120. So if you've got this one, okay, Chris, then you've got this is the winter woodland. Okay. So I'm not too sure if this is the one that you're on about. I've only ever done one like this. And this is coming back into stock and it has those adorable deers, as you can see, on there. Look how cute that is. And you can make canvases with it. It'll be great for winter. You can do so much with these trees. It's quite a handy die to have. Twelve ninety nine, everybody. For ten dies and the matchet sheets, you cannot go wrong with that. Now, talking of matchet sheets, I'm very excited. It's taken me some time to bring back into stock this. Oh, look, Pat. Uh, sorry, look, Deborah. Pat said yes, it will go through. <laughs> This is the great thing about this community. Everybody helps each other. I love it. Uh, and Pauline says, thank you, Debbie. I'm thinking of teaching a class with this set. We'll plan it for next year. Definitely. And Pauline, keep an eye out next week because there's something coming out to go with it, which you will want. That's all I'm saying. Uh, this one is FB2788. So this has been, this has got the bride and groom. Okay. You have got, hearts corners you've got little have i got a back of it no you can't see it on the back you have got a wedding cake you've got a bell you've got flowers you've got mr and mrs you've obviously got the groom so you can use them independently they don't have to be together you can use them on their own uh people have been asking me for me to bring this back for a long time and you have got obviously in different colors you've got the extra elements that you're going to get i do love the color palette in here because you get so much on here so not only can you get uh they're all different ones you're going to get 16 of those that you're going to get it comes with a forever code and then on the back you get your scenes so obviously you've got your church scenes then you've got the garden scenes. This is a good one. And I did put um, a photo out showing you how you can do a fold back. So it looks like the bride is not at the church and then it is. There's loads of different ideas that you can do with this. It's a fabulous one. Uh, the corner die is lovely. Uh, Lois, it is a fabulous one. It's got, as you can see on there, beautiful flourishes that you can use for anything. So you are getting what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 12 13 either 13 or 14 dies okay uh, and don't forget these are great mr and mrs or you can do mr and mr or mrs and mrs whichever one you feel um but you could use those on invitations you can use that part obviously doing your 
uh, invitations and your table settings. It is something that you'll tend to use and again and again. Barbara, bless this part. Oh, sorry I'm late. Fell asleep after dinner. Did over 20 advent cards. Wow, that's brilliant. I'm so glad you're all enjoying that advent collection. Okay, so because we have been asked about wedding, I thought uh, we would bring back into stock our wedding USB key and I've lost it already. This is our the latest wedding USB key and as you can see it's Art Deco Wedding 2. Some of the cards behind me by the way, oh Mary's confirmed that that had 13 dies, thank you Mary. Um, somebody, um, I can't remember who it was, was asking me about different types of wedding. This is wedding 2, some of the cards behind me is wedding uh, from what the previous wedding collections and you can check out the website but what I've done is I've done it on special prices so this is FB2789 $12.99 for the USB key and of course we do it as a digital so if you're looking for the card making kit you've got this option here with the dies but then obviously if you are wanting um, the USB key is FB2789 the digital download everybody it is FB2790. It is, and it's really gorgeous. You're going to get fabulous pay, uh, designs that you can use and characters. Um, I'm going to do a demo showing you a top tip on how to create an easel with a difference. Oh, it looks like one of my flowers has gone somewhere. Um, so you've got the download. If you want the download of this, it's FB2790. Uh, and I think somebody asked me, I had said they had an issue about a download. Beverly will get you sorted out. Um, don't you worry about it. We'll get it sorted out for you. Um, and I can't remember somebody else. If there's a message that I've missed, Jessica will pick it up. And somebody said one of the items is out of stock. So... I will try, I'm trying very hard to keep up with the messages. There's loads of you on YouTube and Facebook, so thank you for that. Um, but if I haven't read it out and I missed it, Jessica will pick it up tomorrow and reply to you. So this is FB2790 and you can do so many fun ideas if you want the download. $9.99. If you want the USB key, it's $12.99. It really is. If you want something to have in for that, um, you sorry, I've just got distracted by my nails. Have you noticed some of them are lighter than the others? It's because they're those nail polish that changes colour. So this nail is cold and this nail is warm. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, it's because I've just had a drink of got a drink of tea. So going back to this, we're going to do a quick demo, and I've got an idea on how to create an easel with a different. So let's move this to one side. And what I'm doing is I've already done my base. I love this paper. I love the marble. As I told you earlier, Dave and I are planning a moving house soon when the sale goes through. And I've been looking at kitchen counters. Um, Susan, um, I hope everything goes well with the hospital. And don't you worry about any payment for this week. Seriously, you just take care of yourself. Uh, and it'll be there when you ring her next week. So what I'm going to do is I just want to add a little bit more of a colour around the edge in. So I am using um, my blending brush. And this, you can see here, is darker because I've already started. I want to show you that this is uh, one of the papers from the USB key. Actually, what time have we got? Um, we're going to quickly go to that USB key very, very quickly. Um, and then I'll come back to this. Just want to show you um, the USB key if you've not seen the wedding before, FB2789. Now this is how it works with a USB key or um, the digital download. So all my collections work the same, click and print system, it works on PC, Mac and Linux, even the new Windows 11. And all you need to do is decide where you want to go. If you go into the papers, click into the papers and this is, I went for the second one, but if you keep on going, you can see that these papers there's so many. Beautiful. The pearl ones are great. You've got a, a swirl one. Keep going through it. Liz says there's no sound. And everybody else hear me okay? Um, and then if you pick the top one on the top left, 
this is how easy it is so you've got lace it's very wedding the feel it feels really wedding-y and if you cancel this I'm gonna go to the design sheets uh, and then click on the go to the next page for me and click on the top one okay thanks Janet for confirming um, and there you go loads of people say they can hear me right so this is the blue option so if you want to print this off all you need to do is go to top right hand side and you can see that this is the printer option and you would put fit to page but this is where you can change the size if you want to I mean I'm not going to go into it too detail I will be doing a more detailed demonstration on Tuesday um, because I'm going to be doing some um, different techniques on Tuesday so I'm going to cancel this I just wanted to show you some of the options that we have you need to close the tab so you can see that you've even got the original line drawings on here you've got envelopes if you click on the envelopes the envelopes are just so beautiful and just sort of click on the C6 so these are great and just click on that one I mean these are just gorgeous you've got that marble effect through them there's so much on here for you to enjoy for $12.99 it is brilliant okay so we're going to cancel this okay you've got you got so much on here but I want to quickly go to the demo because I want to squeeze in a different one um oh Carolyn says I have sound I have this USB key sister borrowed it for a friend's son's wedding in April well that is brilliant so what I want to do is all I'm doing is I'm using a lilac okay and the blending brush and I just want to I've already backed this onto some silver and I just want to line it up to there because I just want to do some edging uh, and I am using I have a lovely little div made these heart it's just a heart little acrylic block but I use it for my colors because it's better if you tap it onto something plastic it keeps the ink okay so all I'm doing is putting it onto there and then rubbing it into the edges so this is a light a very very light lilac so I just want to just and you can see that I'm just adding a color around the edges and the reason why I'm putting the paper on top in hindsight I should have done this bit before I put it on mirror card I don't want to change the color of the mirror card so if you want it as a digital all you need to do everybody is put FB2790 so this is a, a very quick technique these blending brushes are great they come in different sizes and they start from 199 I think this one's a 299 one or a 399 brush size and they're so soft and it's very easy to help so as you can see I've just added some shading it's just lifts it and because this was already on there it just ties it in a little bit better so let's move that to one side and then all I'm doing and this is a fabulous technique so easels go flat right and you see and to do an easel this is how you do an easel it's just that shape so what I'm doing is I'm doing an easel with acetate now a lot of you we've got acetate already back in stock I've got my topper it's gonna to sit like that and I've got my sentiment that's gonna sit like that so all I'm doing is cutting down some acetate you might not be able to see it this is the we have 10 sheets of acetate for I can't remember how much how much is the acetate I think it's 449 and then all I'm doing is folding it back Mary says I love these brushes and the distress inks yes they're really good I'm then going to fold it to create a tab like so and I'm using my bone folder did you see on Tuesday we have the bone folder increases uh, in on offer and then on this side all I'm doing is doing a bigger tab so what you're going to do everybody this is going to stick on here like so and then you need to decide where you want it so I then want to fold that down like so you can cut this in half it needs to be quite a I don't wait a minute it needs to be straight to start off with let's do it straight <laughs> talk amongst yourselves while I straighten this up there we go so make sure it's straight so you don't have it wonky you're not going to see it anyway so that's going to go on there and then I want to stick that onto there just like so and then I'm going to do the same on this side everybody do exactly the same fold it over 
Now, if anybody has any questions, please just ask and I will try and pick the messages up. If not, the girls in the office will pick up. I think YouTube has some issues. Uh, mine seems to be frozen, but hopefully it'll pick itself up in a second. Now, for quickness, I'm using my tape pen. I would use red liner tape. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm putting this bit at the bottom, like so. Okay, it goes completely flat. And then you need to then decide where you want to put. You need to make sure you have it in a place. So make sure it's the right, you need to make sure it's the right height. First of all, can you see what I'm doing? The reason being is it needs to go flat. So I want it just about there because it's going to go flat. You can have it that way. You can put something on that side. Okay. And then this is going to stand like that. So already it's like so. You will need to put something there and then you do the same. So that's going to go there. Then you do the same with the other side. So you put... I'm going to have a try at this acetate technique. It's so easy, Pauline. It's just acetate. Okay, you do need to make sure it's strong. You don't want really flimsy stuff. So this is our acetate because I wanted it a certain strength that we have, that we stock. So you then put this on here. Make sure it goes in flat. And then this, I love this. So wishing you a lifetime of happiness, joy and special memories on your wedding day. Now remember, it has to sit so what I'm doing on this one, it has to be straight so you can go flat. And then, this is the beauty of acetate. Can you see it's gone over? All I'm doing is cutting the shape. So obviously if you had a square, it wouldn't be an issue. E, because I've got this fancy shape, I'm just trimming it round the size. Okay, so easy everybody to do. I'm just cutting it to the shape that I want. Okay, and now remember this will go completely flat. So this then goes, we're going to go here. So I help it along. Remember to reinforce with a bone folder and lift that like that. So I'm going to have that one there and that one there, like so. So it's coming together. And then all I'm doing is adding embellishments. And I did have some sentiments which. I don't know what I've done with it. I'm going to add a ribbon strip along there just to bring in some more of that lovely finish. Then I will probably do a bow. I had some wedding rings that's going to go down here. Actually, I'm not going to have that one. What have I done with it? Then I had a sentiment. This is what happens. I start tidy and then everything gets moved about. I had a lovely little sentiment that said congratulations but I'll use this one to the happy couple. Okay that's going to go on that and then I will use this one here this lovely motif or oh, with love I think and all I've done is backed it onto card so when you print off you can print directly onto card if your printer takes card However, if you like me and not your printer doesn't take cards, simply just back it onto card. And I need to use a foam pad. When you're doing an easel, it's very important that you use a foam pad. So I'm going to put that just in the middle like so. Um, oh, Janet said, Jeanette said, I've done this before and had to end up using red liner tape as glue pens are not strong enough. Yes. I, I would recommend that, Jeanette, and everybody, I will recommend what Jeanette says, okay? I've used a tape pen because I don't know what I've done with my red liner uh, tape and also for quickness because I'm trying to get everything sorted out. So I have got, you know, that is one of the reasons that's happening. Right, it uh, looks like Facebook and YouTube are back on. So can somebody put a message on YouTube to make sure that's working correctly? So this is going to go on here, everybody. So you can see that I'm going to have to the happy couple there. And then, oh look, typical. I found my other sentiment, congratulations. I can have that down here if I want to. 
Uh, but it's so easy. Everything's on on the um, USB key. It's very easy. Uh, hi from South Africa. Wow, that card is stunning. Hi, Edgy. Hi from South Africa. Thank you for joining me. Now remember, this is so easy. All I'm using is acetate. Fold it over, create a little, almost like a hinge. And obviously what I would do, because this will go completely flat, I need to stick that there, but I'll do that later. You'll get the idea. And it can go completely flat as well, like so. And that's why it needs to be the same size, because it'll go flat. I would put... To hide this, I would put something over it, like a message as well. But then they stand up like so. And then look how lovely that is. So that will stand up that way. Oh, I didn't glue my flowers. Let's put some flowers there. You can add glitter to it. Gems, I just wanted to show you that you need to have it stand up. Looks like I need to put another foam pad on there. That's what helps it stand up, like that on there. Right, so that was a quickly very easy how to do a easel card with a difference with acetate right everybody we are moving on and i've lost my piece of paper so that was using the usb key fb2790 or the download uh which is fb oh, sorry that one's 90 fb2789 is the usb key 12.99 you cannot go wrong everybody and then, if you want the download, it's FB2790. Brilliant. Glad to know that YouTube's back on. Okay. I've got Wanda joined us as well over there. Um, and Maureen says she's watched on YouTube and there's no problems. Brilliant. Okay. So we're now going on, okay, with the next item. And, oh my goodness, drum roll. This is the one I'm really excited about. So I vaguely mentioned it. I vaguely, vaguely mentioned it. It's FB2791. Uh, Susan says, could I cancel the kit and have the download instead? Of course you can, no problem. So this is a very special mystery box, everybody. This is Art Deco Moonlight Dreams. Moonlight Dreams is not our Christmas Art Deco. Somebody thought it was Christmas. It has a couple of Christmases, but it isn't just Christmas. So let me show you what you're going to get. Oh, look, there's a gift you're going to get in there. You're going to get a coaster. Isn't that gorgeous? So this Art Deco, this box has our new collection in, Art Deco Moonlight Dreams. Okay. It is going to be an exclusive kit and it'll be limited because not only do you going to get 60 pounds worth of goodies from a coaster i'm going to show you some of the things what can i see oh, feathers in there gems in there you've also got card kits in there you also get a free zoom workshop with me and one of the projects is the brand new very exciting brand new um theater cards now i just want to show you now this is a mystery box so what else have we got in here that's not what you get you have got some gems in there you've got a stencil in there you've got some cardstock feathers oh it looks like a die in there as well everybody um now these are some of the new imagery isn't she beautiful she is um, our evening. So it's not for Christmas. It's for every day. FB2791, you get £60 worth of goodies for £24.99. It's our mystery box. So I'm not showing everything. Um, Hilary says, I pre-ordered the Moonlight Dreams USB key when I had you out. I think it's the back end of next week, Hilary. Okay, so uh, the mystery boxes will be coming in. Uh, the back end of that. I think the following Monday they'll be in. Okay, and you are going to get, let me show you some of the other characters. So the majority of it is non-Christmas. Okay, you might get a topper that is for Christmas. Okay, uh, for example, where are we? Oh, she's very pretty. Let's have a look at her. So you've got, oh, uh, she's lovely. I want her dress. She's nice. So this is FB2791. £60 worth of goodies. 
I'm loving the feathers, everybody. Looks like you've got black and white feathers in there. You've got some gems. Uh, would you do a men's art deco USB key? Um, I can put it on my list. I wouldn't be too sure how to do it. There is some guys in here. Don't get me wrong. Where's the guy? Uh, there is some guys in here. So you have got... Um, Oh no, she's a girl, but we've got them in different colours. You've got the teal colour, you've got the white colour as well in there. This is brand new. Tracy says, I dream of having a figure like hers. You and me both. This is a brand new collection, but also everybody, it is um, our very first Zoom workshop. You'll get an invite to join and one of the projects that we'll be doing on the day is the new theatre cards because we've got new theatre cards with this collection and you can join me anywhere in the world because we'll be giving you dates that you can then choose um, and hopefully you can craft along with me on a special private Zoom workshop and you're going to get that as part of the box. So if you want one it's FB2791. Okay I love the coaster it is gorgeous beautiful and as you can see she's one of my favorite characters uh so you can see that this is also an everyday one as well thank you everybody you are liking everybody's liking the collection and thank you for the comments now remember this will be due out uh very soon uh and if you have any questions on it you can just let me know and we can get it sorted out okay but if you've never done a Zoom workshop, don't worry, we'll be there to help you on how to come and join us. And it, it's going to it'll be an Art Deco special because not only have we got the new theatre cards in there, but you've also going to be able to have um, the new, it's one of the new side scenes in there. There's just so much in there for you to enjoy and hours and hours of fun. And it's not just red and teal, by the way. You've got gold in there. You've also got in there um, different colours. I've just printed her out in full. You won't get it. That's just one of the toppers. Because it's a mystery box. Not the whole kit hasn't come in yet. Um, can you show the mug again, please? Does it match the coaster? No, Tracy, it doesn't match the coaster. This is different coaster. This, because I wanted this to be more of an everyday so for people who've already done Christmas, I want you to feel free to enjoy it. The the mug that we had on earlier was our brand new Christmas mug, FB2784. Look, it's different. Okay, so this is our Christmas mug. So this is our Christmas mug and this is every day. So you can argue it does go, okay. You get that free in the box, and this is FB2784. Uh, but Vanessa says, Paul, is the Zoom workshop for everybody or just those who get the mystery box? The Zoom workshop is a little bit different, Vanessa. Those people that it comes for, we will be doing other Zoom workshops, but there is a special Zoom workshop for this box, okay? We will be doing it um, because I will only have so many places, which is why the box is limited, okay? Because it is almost like a one-to-one. -one. I don't know if you've attended a Zoom workshop where you have so many people come, and that's what we're going to be doing with this. We will be doing other Zoom workshops, but this is the actual box comes with a free workshop for you to go through everything. So uh, it's FB2784 was the mug um that we had and that's what i was showing you it's our christmas limited mug but if you want the mystery box it's fb2791 you're going to get 60 pounds worth of goodies from ribbons to pearls to lace in there you have got a coaster feathers oh my goodness i do like a little bit of a feather and you have got card kits in there galore all kinds of things and i think i can even see some sparkle in there as well but everything's not in yet okay so that's just why it's the moonlight dreams mystery box and talking of moonlight dreams somebody's just been asking about the usb key we put that code back on again so for um find out what i've done with it see i need a bigger desk i can't wait till i get an area when i get my new place i'll be having a larger area so we have the USB key. If you want it as a USB key, you are going to get over 2,000, everybody, 
printable elements and the USB key which I've lost is somewhere under over here there we go $17.99 Art Deco Moonlight Dreams brand new okay um, and that's FB2778 if you want it as a download everybody it is FB2779 and that's $14.99 Okay, so got some questions coming through. Does the lady in green come as A5? So Belinda, so just so you know, I just I've just blown her up. She comes in A5 and also she comes as toppers and A6. And don't forget you're going to get forever code. I've just blown her up. You won't get it like this. I just think she is gorgeous. Okay. Um I think um so when you actually get to uh see it it's beautiful you can use it and because i like the dress i've already but jessica and i were discussing that we want to have the dress <laughs> so when you get it home whether you're going for the usb key the card making kit or the digital download you are going to have toppers galore with this um so that is that one okay so if you want the um usb keys fb2778 or the download everybody uh fb2779 14.99 and because we were talking about weddings we have put on um a fabulous um wedding collection as the download for this week uh, on offer and carolyn's by the way put that this would be a nice picture frame well this is one of the toppers so you can make it any size you want it'd be lovely to make it into a canvas wouldn't it you could print it on rice paper and stick it onto a canvas how cool is that i might just have to do that because she's one of my favorites i couldn't decide if i liked her better in red because you get different toppers which ones you like do you like her in red mm, they both look great okay you get them in teal or you get them in red so um there's plenty to choose from right everybody the last thing uh on tonight's show we'll put an image on is the wedding delights card making kit download look at the price 4.99 instead of 9.99 and look at the picture now this one everybody has on there okay you have got on there as you can see oh my goodness so many images for you to enjoy including a groom in a kilt it's 4.99 it is okay for 24 crafting sheets and you've got all those lovely toppers to enjoy that you can use so that is fb2792 if you are looking for a wedding card making kit with a difference you've got art deco in there you have got every day in there um we've got that lovely the bottle of champagne for anniversaries as well it is only for 4.99 uh, for 24 crafting sheets is the bottom of the coaster cork i think it is i will show you yes it is hopefully still that is okay um, it is it is is this the same as the original wedding CD if you got the wedding delight CD Jeanette then the answer is yes okay this is just the download uh, kit I'll move that out of the way so it's not confusing this is the download kit that we had um, available we normally put one every ad on every show so this is FB2792 it's great a handy kit to have into your crafty stash and that's the last item for tonight's show um, the only other thing I wanted to show you very quickly as an idea is this card and then we are going to finish for tonight so this is an idea that i wanted to share with you and this is done very easily can you see like so now this can be an aperture and i want to show you how to create this it goes completely flat you can do it with anything can you see what i've done so all i'm going to do is so easy don't blink right so I've showed you how to do invisible easel okay I want to show you how easy it is to create this card so you can see that stands up like that I've squashed it a little bit because I put something else on top of it but you get the idea 
Uh, I want to show you how easy it is to create that. So what you need to start off with is by creating a tab. And how you create a tab, everybody, is simply use your paper trimmer or you can use a scoreboard. But use your paper trimmer or scoreboard with this edge. Line this up. And I'm just doing one centimetre, I think. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. One centimetre. Okay. One centimetre. I'm using the embossing tools that I had on. And then I am going to use a bone folder. And this is this needs to be done first. Fold this over like so. Reinforce it. Right, so far, everybody happy with that? So you can see, actually, there it is there. And then what you're going to do is you're simply going to fold it in half. So what you got is you're going to fold it in half, but you fold it up to that part there. Make sure it's like so. There's not any measuring except for that tab. And then all you're going to do is then you're going to fold that into there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as a guide. Can you see what I'm doing? You could measure. I never measure really unless I have to. And line it up. That's going to go to the edge of there. So you end up with four sections. If you want to measure it to be exact, you can. But you're splitting it in half. So then you end up with four. Can you see that, everybody? And what you're going to do is that's what you end up with. And as for what you put in the middle, it can be anything. So you've got the square. You can make it bigger, but then this is where you put your aperture in. You can cut it, or what I really would recommend you do is use a nesting die. Now, if I just grab this nesting die that's hiding, there we go. I'm using a circle, my circle nesting die, so you can decide what you want to do. And simply lie it down. Where's my tape gone? There we go. Use your tape. Like so. So make sure... Oh, I'm going to put this a bit higher up, actually. You line it in the middle. You could use a square. You could use any shape. I just had this to hand. And I'm going to put it through... Oh, I need the plate that fell on the floor. I'm going to put it through my die cutter machine. Wow, my tape is not sticky anymore. Put that through, like so. There we go. And this is going to create this type of shape. So remember, you don't have to use a circle, nesting die. It could be a square you could have the rectangle you could have I'm just trying to think you could have the oh the sunburst will look nice yes I'm making a racket so I've just cut it out cut out lift that up there we go that's gone very sticky so there is my shape okay so everybody this is a really good technique to do great for wedding cards or anniversary cards well, actually any card really stick that on there let's have that and i've lost my glue where is the glue there we go add the glue along the edge and this will do a card that will go completely flat it's so easy everybody this is why I always recommend collect the nesting dies because the nesting dies enables you to do so much so this will be a little bit tricky because I've only left a centimeter okay 
but you could lay you could use a wide a longer piece of card then reinforce that and that will stand like that and I've done a circle and so that was easy wasn't it well hopefully you got the idea somebody tell me you got the idea okay but for me you can have things hanging if you wanted you can have a spinner in the middle it goes completely flat um <laughs> pauline's put i use your circle dies for halloween stickers this year yeah you can use them for anything so obviously this has been done with a different shape you can do whatever you want okay i'm really bad at cutting out circles which is why i always use my circle die set it has i think 10 different dies as you can see i use them quite regularly okay it's one that i used all the time oh carol's got the idea yep a lot of people will have a go brilliant marianne don't forget to tell me okay so this is showing you that you can create any size okay looks great with mirror card i'm going to get some mirror card coming in very very soon so for those people who've just joined me uh you can watch it on catch up just to finish the show everybody I've just been showing you how to create an unusual card. There was a couple of techniques I've shown you. I've shown you how to do the invisible, the invisible easel, which is fabulous, as well as the advent die, which, you know what? I'm going to give everybody advent cards this year, I think. Um, for anybody who has any questions that I haven't been able to answer, Jessica will pick it up. I'm just going to recap on how the system works. So we'll leave that last code on, which will put the picture on uh, for that kit. So if anybody wants to download 4 99 for 24 crafting sheets, you know, where can you get... <laughs> Um, the, where can you get a wedding collection with a guy in a kilt? There's not often that you see it in there. We have that, okay? If you want to order it, all you need to do is put FB2792. Now, our system is very easy, okay? All you need to make sure if you've never ordered from us before, please can you private message us your postal address and your email address, and then what we'll do is we will actually send you an invoice from tomorrow afternoon and Monday so you can watch the show back you can add to your elements that you want on some of the items it's first come first serve now don't forget when you actually get your payment link it'll come via email you can pay by debit card credit card and PayPal but also you can actually give us a call and we can pay over the phone Jessica as will be there to help you it is 07553 457168 our email address is info at debbiemoredesigns.com and our message on Facebook is at debbiemoredesigns don't forget our website is debbiemoredesigns.com and you need to check out our inspiration hub hopefully you enjoyed the show but don't go away because we have some winners everybody so the winner for the like and share okay congratulations drum roll please Joe Madeline Joe I hope I've said your last name right congratulations you have won uh, please make sure you private message me your um, email address not your email address your postal address it's been a long day everybody um, and we will send you out your gift next week uh, I can see loads of messages coming in oh everybody's loving the shape Estelle's put wow brilliant aperture card for any size yes you can do that with any size and there really really wasn't any measuring you can just make up the size of the tab yourself um, also don't all go away because I've got a present for you all so remember um, for those people that are new to send me your email address and your postal address, especially if you ordered, so we can set up your account and get you sorted with Debbie Moore Designs. Uh, thank you for all the messages uh, that are coming through. Uh, I'm glad you've been inspired. Make sure you watch what uh, Bella did last night or even the Tuesday show with the pop-up. So much fun for you to enjoy. But going back to tonight, I want to give you a present for you to enjoy. Now, this is a little treasure hunt. Don't ring our speak to Jessica and ask for her to show to send it to you because she won't. This is something only available on YouTube and also on Facebook for people watching this live show. Um, it's a treasure hunt that started off in lockdown. It was inspired by my grandfather, bless his soul, who passed away a few years ago. 
he actually used to when i was a teenager used to do treasure hunts for me for my birthday i loved them when lockdown happened i was like what can i do to be a little bit of fun and to give back to all you wonderful crafters out there and this is how it started so we will continue doing this every thursday i will give you a gift for you to enjoy now this is a weekend project i'm not telling you what it is but you have to remember two things today's date which is the 9th of november and also fb wedding which is the discount code for this week from lunchtime tomorrow you nip over to debbie moore designs and remember that you're all part of my crafting world even if you've just started watching tonight go to um, products and then go to printable downloads and because you're all part of my crafting world go into the members section you will see a kit there that will be loaded up from tomorrow at lunchtime um, that will have today's date it will have a price on but as soon as you pop it into your basket and you put the code because on the right hand side it says do you have a discount code if you put FB wedding on there what will happen is it will go free and you can download and enjoy it make loads of fun projects out of it and there's only one little catch please make something with it make it for charity make it for a key worker make it for a relative you haven't seen in ages uh, but pass on the creativity pass the love on and enjoy the craftiness of from Debbie Moore Designs. It's just a, a little thank you from me and the team to say thank you for your continued support because we wouldn't be here without you and uh, we just want to pass on the love that we do. So there's loads of messages coming through that I really, ha it's going so quickly. Uh, I'm glad that you've enjoyed the ideas and inspired. We have got loads of more fun in, uh, in store for you guys next week. Make sure you set a reminder. Um, I'm going to be signing off but just to remind you that I'm going to be on Sewing Street uh, TV on uh, when 10 o'clock on Saturday that's it and I'm also going to be on Hobby Maker TV on what time three and six three and six uh, with Hobby Maker TV so you can maybe stay tuned or watch those but don't forget if you missed any of our shows we're going to just check out the inspiration hub on debbiemoredesigns.com for some more inspiration right I'm going to go I can see loads of messages coming through. Take care of yourself. God bless you all. Happy crafting. Have a fabulous weekend. And I look forward to you joining me next week for some more crafty funds. I'll be back here um, on our craft and share shows. Actually, craft and coffee morning on Tuesday at 11 o'clock. And then here on Thursday at 6.30 in the evening. Mwah. Loads of kisses and hugs to everybody. God bless you all. Have a lovely weekend. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.